challenge. In our office or in our uh, office, we received two complaints of people complaining that uh, they had their appliances. We'll talk about appliances. The, they talk about plans and we'll talk about that. Yeah. We'll talk about all that. Yeah. For, for the office that you man in the region, would you say that customers of, let's say, ECG are, treated, yeah. are being treated well? <laughs> from where I sit, from where I sit, I would say, yes, they are being treated well. We are being treated well. Yes, please. If you look at the seat. state, if you look because, at the press release, yes, the press release, yeah. it just talks about system imbalance. Okay. It talks about you know they have problems at um, Bui and Abuazi. Okay. And then along the line, they just put some small apology there. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is enough? Yeah, you know, uh, at the regional level, we had our strengths. All these things, like, like I said, we received this information. We have sent this all this information to our head office. The head office probably will take an action on this, or they will do an investigation to find out whether what's really uh, what Grico came out was as it was really the genuine uh, fact, and they will take an action on this. But we are here to gather information and then uh, make sure that the customers who don't complain here are really uh, dealt with. Beyond us, we have to escalate it to our head office, head office to take an action on that. Haven't said that. Yeah. Haven't said that. I still want to dwell a bit more on the release, the release from Great Coke. Okay. Now, you put people through stress, and then you try to explain, not in detail, as to what really happened. Okay. And then the way you even go about the apology, and I'm asking you, for somebody who's okay. protecting the interests of a consumer yeah. like myself and my listeners, okay. do you think that that release, that statement, is solid enough to, to calm the nerves of people. And like you were going to talk mm -hmm. about, you've had complaints from people who have raised issues about damaged appliances. So looking at the statement itself, is it enough communication to uh, the consumer? You know, yeah, thank you very much. You know, like I said, this release has been sent to our head office and all of our offices in the other regions have also had this information sent to our office. So it's our head office who will take an action on this and then find out to see to find out to see whether this uh, this apology really merits what they have really put up so to me i cannot say it's really uh, good or it's really in, uh, it's, a, it's, it's an it's a uh, apology which will satisfy the, uh, the, the but for consumers. somebody who has a consumer's interest you know at heart and on mind yeah. what do you make of it you know like 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 uh, what we like what i said it's a system challenge, and once it's a system challenge, it's a technical challenge. And all this is about to, okay, it's, it's not the fault or it's not the making of somebody who is sitting behind the system who intentionally uh, puts the system off and thereby affecting consumers. It's a, it's a problem, it's a challenge that has really occurred, which we need to uh, find out. Have you been on